Hi kids, my name's Nicole and this is Let's Make Art and you're here to paint with us like we do every week. So, what we're doing today is a beautiful landscape that's at night and we're gonna make a moon. So, I want you to paint with me. Let's grab out our supplies. We are using our watercolors like we like to do here at Let's Make Art. And I'm gonna use two colors. I have magenta and blue. And we're gonna use, the, use these two colors to make so many other colors. Ooh, I also need yellow to make black, I realize. I have some yellow right here. So, then we like to have our brushes. I'm gonna use a wide one to paint this, but if you have any brushes, I want you to grab any of those. And then a cup of water. Is this in the shop? Yeah. A cup of water and a paper towel. Then we can start by you meeting Keenan, who is our camera guy. He wants to be your friend too. Hello. <laughs> this is Keenan, so you'll hear him talking to you and I while we paint together. Okay. Now, the first step is we're going to do our motto. So if you can raise your right hand and repeat after me. I am brave. I am brave. I am kind. I am kind. And I am creative. And I am creative. Let's do this. <laughs> and actually, Keenan and I were just talking about what the word creative means, and it can mean so many different things. You are painting here with me, so you are creative, and you are an artist. Maybe you like to tell jokes. That's also creative. Oh. Maybe you like to bake with your parents. That's also creative. Maybe you like to make things match color. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, like with your outfits? Yeah. Yeah, that's creative. Or even your crayons. Oh that, yeah, yeah. Or your Legos. Maybe you like to have Legos in different containers. Red should be with reds, greens, blues, blacks. Yes, that's you so know? creative. Thank you. So you are just here to be creative with me today. So we're excited. Okay. Now, first step is that you'll see that I paint I taped my paper down so it doesn't move. So that may help you if you have tape that you can use. Next step is, is we're gonna mix our colors. So I have a little bit of my magenta, or if you have red, you can use that as well. I have that on here. What I wanna do is if you see our night sky, our sky goes from this kind of magenta color to a little bit of purple, to navy, to this blue. So let's make all those colors. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some magenta. What happens if I have, maybe I'll do, let's do three pots of magenta. Now, what happens if I add just a little bit of blue, medium-sized blue, and a lot of blue? Let's see what happens. Sweet. This is a piece of paper. I'm just going to grab my brush, swish it in my water. Okay. Ooh. I love that color. So we have that magenta. Ooh. That's a nice a purple. Pretty purple. Ooh, so that's like a navy. Very pretty. Oh, wow. Ooh, so it's kind of a little bit bluer. Like a, almost like a lighter blue, like a dark light blue. Yes. So you can see how by mixing different amounts, so this one has a little bit of blue, so it's closer to our pink. And as we go this way, we get closer to our blue. So let's see what happens if I just use blue. What does that look like? Oh, so let's do that at the very top. Yeah, I like that. So if we turn this, this will show you we're going to make our night sky and use all of these colors to paint it as we go up. So we are ready to paint. I'm going to grab my brush, dip it in water. So when we use watercolors, we use a little bit of water and I'm going to dip in and I'm going to start at the bottom and I'm just going to paint the entire paper. So I'm going to move back and forth and as you go, maybe need more water, is we're going to start to use different colors. So the colors that you mixed, I'm going to grab the next color, which is this purple, and let's see what happens if I go over this pinky color, and I mix it in, kind of makes a whole new color. Cool. That's a pretty blend. Ooh, yeah, so blending is when the colors touch, because they're friends, and they just want to mix and make a whole new color. It's like mixing brownie mix. Yeah. Put some eggs in there, <laughs> some oil. Mixing it together. Mixing it together. They all belong together. Yeah. 
So you'll see I'm just moving. As I move up, I'm just going to continue to get the next color. So I'm going to get the next color and keep moving. I like to get a little bit of water. Then I kind of go up and down. Let's get some of that blue. So we're just painting the whole background. Look, you just created an ombre sky. Ombre means it goes from one color to the next. Isn't that cool? That's super cool. Yes. And good job. Good job. So now that you have your whole sky, what I want you to do is I'm going to clean my brush because we like to be kind to our tools, set it off to the side. Now, here's a really cool thing. Can you see how in here there's these spots? There's some kind of these cool explosions. Yes. So we're going to do that with water. What? Tell me more. So grab one of your brushes. I'm going to use this one because it has a pointy tip. Mm. So I'm going to go and I'm going to dip in just my water and I'm just going to tap it. Ready? Can you cue side effects? Ready. Oh, I was a little early, but look <laughs> at that one. That one's amazing. <gasps> so can you see what's happening? It's Oh my exploding. goodness. That's just with water. Let's do a few more. So these are like our cool stars. So I'm just adding them all around my paper. And again, this is just with water. Now, if you think, huh, I want to try out what happens if I use some color. Mm. Let's see what happens. Ooh. Ooh. So what happens is when it's a little bit, when the paper is a little bit more wet, it might spread out a little bit more. If it's dry, it might just stay right there. But I think it's cool to have some different different types of dots we got going on. Maybe you can put a dot where there's more water where you put the other explosions. Say that again? Put a dot of color in the water explosions. Oh, let's try that. Like here? Yeah. Whoa. Oh. Ooh, I want some, this purple one. Good idea. Purple, yes. So we're adding color in the explosions. Whoa, Keenan, that looks so cool. Beautiful. And then those will dry in different ways. Yeah. Whoa. That's so fun. Good idea. Okay. Now, while that is drying, we are going to do, let's do two things while it's drying. First one is we're actually going to mix black. So do you see how right here, actually I have a couple different, different examples to show you is this one has a mountainscape in the background this one has some hills and some trees and some people this is where you get to be creative and have fun and do this on your own maybe you could put a tent on the hill i think we did that in one painting well i love to suggest tents yes we could definitely do that as well so the color that we're using is black so I want to get that ready. We don't have black right now, or if you have black, you go and grab that. But guess what? We can make that together. So when to make black is you're going to mix the three primary colors, and the primary colors are red, and sometimes we use magenta, red, yellow, and blue. So let's do that. Red, yellow, and blue. So this is how you have fun. You mix colors and see what you get. Ooh. Ooh, that kind of made a green. Yeah, it did. So let's try. I think I might need a little bit more red. It makes me think of like an emerald green. Oh, that I should have kept that. I'll okay, make it again. Let's see what this looks like. So I added more pink. Ooh. That's pretty. It's like a space. Space. I'm just going to call it space. Space blue. <laughs> I think I'm going to leave that. So you just want a little bit of a darker color that we're going to use for our background. So I think, let's see. Let's, we're going to take 
a snack break because I want, so I have my black already, but I want that to all dry because you'll see that I still have some spots right here. I want that to dry so I can paint on top of it. So we're gonna take a quick snack break and I'll meet you back here. Okay, we're back from our snack break. And what I want you to do is I want you to grab out two more supplies. We have this cool thing called a jelly plate. It's this hard plastic thing. And then I want you to grab your gold paint. Now, we're gonna do some magic together because you can you see on here that this moon is in gold. Oh. Isn't that pretty? So, we'll do our moon first and then we'll do our black that you mixed before we went for our break. So, grab out your hard case and I want you to open it up and you're gonna pull out this circle jelly thing that we're calling a jelly plate. Mm -hmm. Feels cool. Then I want you to close back up the lid and we're gonna stick this circle on top. So it'll stick and it'll stay. Whoa, stick okay. and stay. <laughs> so this is what we're gonna do to make a stamp to make our crescent moon. So open up your gold, set that aside and grab your brush. And here's the thing. Maybe you, I guess you're probably painting this during the day. I wonder what size the moon is if you were to look outside. Because mm. did you know that the moon changes? So sometimes you'll look outside and maybe it's circle. Maybe it looks like a crescent moon like this, where you just see part of the moon because part of it is hidden actually. So it's still actually there, mm. but we just don't see it all. So I like to use my imagination and I'm gonna draw a crescent moon. I think that the moon might've been something similar to this recently. So you can do that with me or you can paint your own size moon. But what, I, what we're gonna do together is you're gonna pick up gold. I'm not going to use any of my water because this paint is a lot thicker. So I want you to just pick it up right out of the container and you're going to, what's a good spot for me to paint this? Right, a little up and to the right. Here? Directly on your paper. Oh, 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 here? There, down left, middle, there you go, perfect. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> okay, so you're going to paint directly onto this jelly part. So not on the heart case, on the jelly part. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to draw, it helps me to think of things in, in really simple shapes and lines. So I'm gonna draw a C. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna draw a C on my jelly plate. Then I'm gonna get more paint and I'm gonna paint the left side of this of my line and color it in. And I want you to use a lot of this gold paint, so I'm gonna go and get more. I want it to be really thick. See, so you just made a crescent moon. Nice. Now, question. Yes. When you turn that over, that's gonna be a backward C. Is that right? You tricked me. I was seeing you rotate the other oh, way. Oh, this Look way. At that. You can. You can do it any way? You could do it any way. Oh my goodness, I got so excited. <laughs> yes. So, before we do our stamp, what I want you to do is I want you to clean your brush, sweep the bottom of your water cup, and close my acrylic paint. Now, let's do this. So, pick up your jelly plate. I want you to turn it. So now the paint is facing downwards. Now, like Keenan said, we can do our crescent moon here or we can spin it. Oh, maybe it's like that. Maybe it's like right here. We'll do the opposite. So we'll do it right here. And do you want it facing this way? Do you want it facing up? This is so fun. You could spin this around. So I'm going to place it down wherever I want. I'm gonna place it down, let go. And then you're going to push down like you would a stamp I'm gonna push real hard, then I'm gonna lift up, and then when I take it off, I want you to lift straight up into the air. So we're gonna go boop. Nice. Woo! We just made our own stamp. And you know what I just thought of? How fun. If you wanna, I'm gonna experiment with you. Is I'm gonna clean this off, so I have my paint on here. Is I'm gonna clean this off? What if we, do some gold stars. So I'm gonna go and grab my paint again. So maybe you just add other things. 
because it's just fun to stamp. So I'm just drawing lines, or you can do dots. And let's see what it looks like. So I'm going to do it again. So I'm going to spin it around. Stamp. Maybe I'll add a few stamps. Because then it'll get a little bit lighter. That's so cool. Whoa, as you do it, it gets a little bit lighter. So that's the fun thing about the stamp. What? Whoa, that looks cool. That looks amazing. Yeah, that's hey, good so job. fun. I just thought of that. So this is how you have fun. You just try new things out. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to clean my brush again. And last step is to set that aside is we're going to paint our mountains so if you think about it when it's dark outside you don't see everything because the moon the the sun isn't out so it's not the same color so everything kind of is a, a black shade or dark gray so that's what we're painting it's called a shadow so we're painting that or a silhouette you might hear that word as well so you're going to paint that so you have our black that we painted so i'm going to go dip my water, dip my brush in my water, and I'm gonna pick up my black. And what I want you to do is at the bottom of your painting, I want you to use your imagination. I want you to paint anything that you see. If you close your eyes with me, do you see rolly hills? Do you see a straight line? Do you see people walking in the distance? Boulders. Do you, do you see boulders? Mushrooms. Do you see Mountain tops. Mountains. Maybe we'll do that. So I want you to paint what you see. So you're gonna use your black and you're gonna paint. So I'm gonna do, oh, maybe I see pyramids. Ooh, pyramids. Then you can do the lines with gold. Oh, that's a great idea. So you're gonna paint them and then you're gonna fill them in. Cause it's all black. Cause like I said, this is the silhouette or the shadow. Oh. So I'm gonna get some water, paint this. Bringing our paint into life. Fun! I love that. Now, you can add more to it. Like Keenan said, maybe you go and you add some more gold to it. Maybe you add, maybe you just climbed a pyramid and you draw a person going like this on top. That would be sweet. This is your painting. What if you draw a small ladder from the top of the pyramid to the moon and you have another person <gasps> on the moon? Yes. This is why art is so fun. You get to use your imagination and paint what you see. So I want you to do all that. Do you want to do, you want to do that now? No, no, you don't have to. I okay. just think that'd be so great. There's so many different ideas that we can do. I want to see what you make. Oh, last step is, let's do this together. So when you are done, you're going to take off your tape. just want to show you. So you're going to take off your tape. Oh, might rip it. That just gives it some cool personality. Yes. Ta-da! Beautiful. Then what I want you to do is I want you to take a picture and smile and I want you to send it to us. We want to see what you make. We have a Facebook group called Let's Make Art Kids Projects where we're in there. There's other kids in there cheering each other on. And this is the cool thing about art is you just share what you make and you get you be proud of yourself. So always remember that you are brave, kind and so creative with your piece of paper and we will see you next time.